Let's get to the latest on our border report. The large number of individuals fleeing communist regimes is, in, is contributing to increased immigration encounters right here in the U.S. Uh, just last month, border agents encountering more than 185,000 asylum seekers at the southern border. Nearly 70,000 of them were from Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Cuba. That's almost a 150% increase from the same time last year. But there's another location also seeing an increase in migrants, and that's in South Florida. Xavier Walton live in Fort Lauderdale with more on this. Xavier. Adrian, good morning. Border Patrol regularly executing missions, searching for migrants uh, in the Florida Straits. And according to Border Patrol, South Florida is seeing record high, an all-time high uh, migrant arrivals. And I'm going to explain why. I'm going to break it down and so everyone can understand uh, proximity. Talk about location. Here is the map. Um, this is a big driving factor. It's 90 miles from the coast of Cuba to Florida's southernmost point in Key West. And every month, thousands of Cubans are risking their lives to travel across the Florida Straits and make it to the U.S. Now, according to Border Patrol in the last fiscal year, Listen to this. There's been a more than 500% increase in encounters with Cuban migrants. Border Patrol has seen more than 50 migrant landings, accounting for over 850 migrants who have come to South Florida. But Cubans, you know, they aren't just coming via water. Of course, Cuban migrants are also crossing at the southern border. The total number of Cubans migrating to the states on the national level is at the highest it's been since October of last year, more than 220 thousand Cubans have been processed. Border Patrol says only migrants from Mexico and Guatemala surpass the number of migrants who have come to the U.S. from Cuba. And on a grim note, I'm going to end it here. Those are only the numbers that Border Patrol accounts for, right? The people that actually made it here to the U.S. from Cuba to, to southern Florida. That is treacherous. That is dangerous. So those numbers don't actually account for, and this is a grim note, but for those people who certainly just did not make it and they died at sea, Adrian. Xavier, thank you again. I know this is a reality, a harsh reality that uh, Florida and, of course, our southern border states are going through. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.